I do not buy the closure, the conclusion we got with the murder mystery. Nope. Mm -mm. The real that is out on the loose. The double murder mystery shit is set up by the actual real dad, which implies if my schizo theory that Aqua's real dad was not Himeko's dad that died with the mom, that also implies that Himeko, because of the 99% whatever blood match with Aqua, Himeko's dad was also a fraud. And the mom cheated on him something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it, it, if the DNA tests are true, does, is not that technically meaning that like, Himeko's dad is also Aqua's true dad, who is not Himeko's supposed dad. I'm not really sure how that shit works out. We're going to Miyazaki now, right? We're going to Miyazaki. This is the hometown where Aqua, before he was Aqua, he used to work as a doctor. The body was never found when Aqua supposedly died, you know, fell off a cliff, got pushed off. There's also a new girl that showed up at the end with like silver white hair. Well, let's begin today's reaction. Miyazaki ko. Soudara. Can Akane come with? <laughs> Imagine he says this right now and kind of gets mad. Okay. Okay. Ignored. Wait, 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 no! I thought that he meant, like, nah, I'll just do it myself and we can fucking, you know, go to Miyazaki later on, but... That's a date. That's an... He agreed. Kana's realizing, oh shit. Date? It's happening? Cute. What is this voice actor? Cute. Oh. Wow. Or pajamas then. Yeah, I like this look. Casual, cool, sporty, athletic. <laughs> yeah, but that's like appealing to the lolly appeal. I'm not sure if Aqua's a lolly call. I wonder if Aqua would even notice like the different clothing that Kana put on. I feel like whatever she puts on, it's not really gonna make a difference on like Aqua's perception of Kana. What if he's even more late? Waiting inside, coffee shop. Isekai time! Truckun is one car behind. This car is preventing Kana from getting Isaka. Truckun here was ready to fucking go, bro. Like, this is it. This is fucking it, but nah. Aqua so cool. Kinda looks like she's ready to have like a snowman contest. Please, have some. Wow, so considerate for me, a heart? You could mistake this for like Aqua's love for her. <laughs> okay. That's it? Oh,シュガーマン。ありがとう。I <laughs> think that the notion that a man must pay for something is fucking cringe and it's the Kool-Aid that's been fed to us and my fellow men have to suffer on dates. That's bullshit. First date, also first date, never take a girl to a nice fucking restaurant. No, 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 no. It, the, and you're gonna think I'm crazy. You're gonna think I'm crazy and hear me out. The first date should never be at a fancy restaurant. Once you set the bar too fucking high, she gets very entitled. If she is someone that is actually your soulmate, she will accept you for all you are. The cringe, all the different things about you, it doesn't matter. Meaning, you could take her to a fucking Taco Bell. You think you're too good for fucking Taco Bell? Hell no! If it's the actual one that you're gonna wife up, 
that girl's gonna have a fun time with you no matter where you go because it's not about where you go it's who you're with and on the notion of paying on behalf of the date i think either or right it's all about the feeling of i want to do something nice for you it shouldn't be like oh you're the fucking man you gotta pay for it bullshit Bullshit. If it's in my within my means to pay for something and I want to treat the person I have with me, I'll do it. But if the girl want to treat me, fuck, treat me too. She seems a little jealous though. <laughs> kind of seems a little jealous. <laughs> How do you like them, Apple? That's right. World's all about gender equality. Bitch, you better pay for that shit too. I am tired of being Put the bill just because I'm a man. Oh, don't worry. I got you. Ooh. Damn. Is Suika actually like a payment system in Japan? I feel like that was a fucking ad. Unless that's like a random thing that only exists in the Ocean Oku world. If Suika is like Apple Pay, that sounds like we just got a fucking ad segment. <laughs> Gosh. Gosh. Wait, wait, wait. What did she exactly say there? Hold up. He just paid before I could. I was planning on covering the bill. Uh, yeah, she was. No, I, I think she. I don't think she was stalling. I don't think she was stalling and being like, "Oh, is he gonna pay for it if I take long enough?" No, no, no. I don't think she was stalling. <laughs> yeah, he's smooth. Suka is a real thing. Paid advertisement. Which one, Aqua? Okay. Oh, shit! <laughs> That's true. I thought she was talking about her like outfit right now, the red and white. But like, it's true. That's a significant thing. Remember the season finale? Everyone had like ruby, sorry, ruby colors and memcho colors. But it's like, what about what, Kana? And then what can I with it? <laughs> this counts as cheating only if you think this is a date. <laughs> to Kana, this should count as cheating. This fucking home record, bro. Yo, this is fucking a home wrecker, man. Oh my god. What a gentleman. Fuck me for trying to help. This is kind of reminding me of the season one baseball episode. And you're going to say baseball episode. Remember the time where Kana and Aqua were playing catch with gloves on and talking? I felt like Kana got, she was, she was coping there. She was being led on. She, she, she made herself be led on. She, it was all in her own head. I feel like this is the same shit of like, oh, wow. You pay for me? Take my handbag? My color? Wow. <laughs> I think this is all in her head. Oh, that is definitely memeable material. Aqua has some fine, refined tastes, man. Ooh. When did you make this? Yeah, when? That's what I'm saying. Like, this implies that he made it before, but he was hinting that, like, it's time to go home, so... <laughs> Dinner for two for himself? Like, I... I, 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 I Unless this is supposed to be for Akane before, like, how, what, what, what is going on? I mean, I mean, I mean, if you add up his age from the past life with this one, hmm. <laughs> She's getting mad because he's too good at dates. Aqua, you slut. I thought you were this holy virgin maiden that's gonna be just for me. 
You're a playboy. You're way too good at this. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah, like you. He's really dense, huh? Okay, Mr. Moneybags. More things that could make her delusions, you know, come true. It's pure business, not the real thing. Ooh! About no, 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 no. The real answer hinting like, no, no, I think I kind of, because kind of got upset, I think this is hinting that like Aqua is calling the thing off. Like, yeah, we're done. Eh, this professional business, I'm not, I don't know, it, maybe? Well, now no girl can participate. Wait. 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 Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe he's going to confess to Akane now. I thought it was going to swing the direction of Kana there after she felt down a bit. After all those repetitive moments of her like being like, Oh my god, he's into me, he's into me, but... Where's this going? Oh. That's the most blushed I've ever seen her. I mean... I don't know. One way or the other. But with the amount that Akane was down to just like... Help Aqua just bury bodies. I don't, I, don't, I, I thought that Aqua Akane might be an actual thing, but that conversation there, what kind of answer is waiting? <laughs> Got the taxi ready. He's so good. Where are we going? Back to my place? <laughs> <laughs> You think you got a reservation made at a love hotel? I don't know about that. Slice of Life date episode with Kana is pretty amazing. <laughs> yup. What, you, you mad? The fuck you, what are you, you, you're like, oh my god, where are you gonna take me? It can't be. Oh, home. So you did want to go to a love hotel? Of course she does. Womp womp. Yeah, I can see that. Aqua. Yo, Instagram, Instagram, post this shit. Post this picture. And then tag him. And then tag Akane too. Oh my god, date with my best friend, Aqua! It's a shame that at Akane Real couldn't be here, but it is what it is. The meat was so good. I love meat. Hashtag Aqua meat. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what is the odds of you scrolling right to the... She just flipped one and said, boom. And the funny thing is in both pictures, the girl taking the photo is so enthusiastic, shining, smiling. And Aqua just so disinterested in this one as well as, you know, this one. I'm not sure which one he's more disinterested in. I think he's more disinterested with the Kana one. He he looks like he's actually looking at the camera being like, oh, okay. But this one is like, I'm just sipping my drink. Hmm. What kind of answer? Could be good for you, Kana. <laughs> There's no way you're going to dump her after taking an Instagram picture for her, right? There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> Boomer alert. Honestly, a girl like Akane does not need filters. Her face literally is the byproduct of a filter, bro. It's too perfect. But, you know, I don't know, it has some pretty shit, different color, lighting, different angles, filter, whatever to kind of... Enhance this unrealistic beauty standard for social media online. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe true though. Maybe the girls doing filters, it's it's more appealing to other girls than guys, and guys just don't really give a fuck. I don't know. 
Mmm, true, right? With the murder mystery supposedly finished. No longer. What if Akane drops a fucking bomb here, bro? That like contradicts this. That like this is not the real dad. And then he has a reason for Akane to stick around. So that's interesting. The more that, that Aqua remains normal. Like Kana is like the good ending. Like right now in this visual novel playthrough. The Kana route is when Aqua has just moved past the revenge. It's over. He's gotten closure. You fucking settle down with Kana. Or you descend into madness and go with <laughs> Akane and bury the body. Make her bury the corpse. The neutral ending is with the Ruby. <laughs> Somewhere in between is Ruby. Hmm. Great moments with Akane, man. No, what do you mean? You need to keep a young girl with a bright future like that and completely ruin her with the fucking criminal charge after you make her bar like bury the corpse of your real dad, bro. You wanna come with? Okay, Miss Moneybags. <laughs> Brother, Kana is gonna be so destroyed. This is like the what? The what? Miyazaki? Wow, I, you telling me after I went on a fucking date with you to pick up a goddamn rolling suitcase, you bring this demon? What? Oh. About a relationship. What is our relationship? What are you and me? That's what I'm assuming. So, <laughs> this is the way I see this show ending. At least this season. It's seemingly like the murder mystery is over. Aqua's at his closure. Akane is no longer necessary. We're going with Kana. But we know it can't end like that. We're gonna... She's gonna be- she's gonna come with us to Miyazaki. We're gonna find something that just changes everything. The real dad is alive, the murder mystery is back on, and Akane remains by Aqua's side, and Kana just gets cucked. That's the way that I see the story going. Did they talk? いまがちからもう半ば her hand. It's an artificial one. Where are they going with this? Is he gonna just dump her now? Before we go to Miyazaki? I feel bad. This girl deserves better, man. This girl deserves better on Aqua. Was I useful? She was absolutely useful. She was crazy smart. Wicked smart. She figured out the plot. But at the end of the day, she just did that shit to get close to Aqua, be useful, to be like a fucking tool, and this fucking ugh, this this motherfucker, she, Akane deserves way too much. Way, she deserves w way better than this. It is true. Is this the same bridge? Yeah. Hold up. I'm just starting to realize this is where it all started. This is where it all Aqua! Aqua! Do not dump her here! Careful! Careful! Yo, you dump her now! I don't know! Uh-oh. This is the spot. <laughs> Let's jump together. Double suicide right now. If I can't have you, no one else can. Let's just jump right now together. 
the hug as well. It was kind of like this. Exactly, right? Wait. Was it not out of his own self-interest? I'd have to go back to season one and really analyze it. Back then, I wasn't being so sweaty with anime reactions. But was it really not out of self-interest? Did he not need Akane for some sort of use? Like, wasn't her being ostracized and everything going back for the whole play like a bad thing objectively? Therefore, he needed to solve the solution? Or was it out of like, I can relate to you being in this position. I don't want you to commit suicide. I, I forget. I forgot. Let's see the color of the star. Good call. Yeah, no. <laughs> if this was a dark star, <laughs> then then this some this some what what is that one Death Note meme, right? With the main character hugging a girl and being like, <laughs> I'll according to plan, <laughs> right? But if it's a light star, then it's like a good thing. Like he did this because it's a wholesome moment. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> now we going to the love hotel for sure. Kana ain't coming with this, but I kind of just straight up saying it. I kind of just straight up telling us, dude. The subs are telling me this. Oh goodness! Aqua's even getting flushed. That was embarrassing. Falling for my deception. Huh. So like, sometimes like, I, I have definitely faced these kind of cases too where girls think like, if they don't put out, then it's their fault for not keeping a man around, which is so fucking sad. Right? It's so sad that like, girls think that like, oh no, they're gonna doubt me because I didn't give them these like, physical attraction, lustful desires. So Akane, when she said this just now, it wasn't coming from a place of like, well, maybe it is coming from a place of authentic, genuine, like I do want to do it, but it's sounding more like, you know, most guys, you know, you need girls to put out, right? Isn't that why? <laughs> just out of context, anime frame. <laughs> what if... <laughs> This dialogue, bro, the subtitles, like, what the hell is Ocean of Koala about, bro? Give him this frame. I don't know what she thinks or what she thinks or Are you implying now that Akane's feelings towards Aqua was all artificial too because she was too deep into the sauce of like method acting? Hold up. This is interesting. I never thought about it this way. All the feelings were also fake because she was too deep in the sauce acting like that? That person might not be existing anymore. Someone to actually, you know, tell these truths that we can never tell anyone. That person might be not existing, yeah. Infinite credit card. Five million yen. Hold up. Five million yen to USD. <gasps> That's almost thirty-five thousand dollars. What the fuck? Does a high school kid come with 35,000 US dollars, bro? What the hell? All those different gigs barely covered it? What do you mean extra work online? What, what, do you, what, do you, what are you doing on? Oh, Aqua got OnlyFans? What's going on? Himekawa. 
Ruby Aqua. No, I don't believe it. I do not believe it for a second, bro. See, this is. <laughs> I love how Hoshino Ai has both stars there. <laughs> what is this art? <laughs> and like Aqua and Ruby obviously has one star each, right? But this person, bro, right? This real dad is not the fucking dad that double suicided with the mom. What else could be happening? I do believe that, the, like, and the DNA test, 99.8% matching, doesn't that imply that, like, the person that double suicided with Himeko's mom was not the real dad, and that Himeko himself is not aware who his he real, real uh, dad is, right? This girl also must have been fucking around with the real dad. Like, let's assume this is the real dad, right? This girl must have been having some relations. He's a playboy, but he doesn't want, you know, his possessions to fucking go cheat on him, right? So... He found out that, oh shit, you have a love for another guy who is the person that died with Himeko's dad, right? Like, that, that, that is supposedly who Himeko's dad is. I feel like the real dad may just kill both of them, right? Isn't that the si most simple, like, guess? Cap, cap! No, bro, it's not! Can't be! Akane right now needs to make the connections in her head. She needs to realize, hmm, so this motherfucker will not engage with me if he thinks that the dad is dead. I must now do my research and prove to him that the dad is alive. And therefore, I can fill in the role of being Aqua's mistress. Yes. Now, Akane, give me some facts. Akane, prove him wrong. Don't make him move past this. Dude, the look that Akane has is kind of scary. Is it just me? Or is the studio making her look way more darker? I don't know. Like, the look that she has on Aqua right now is fucking terrifying, and I'm not sure if this is like a random frame or if the studio is intentionally doing this as Akane realizes, I don't want you to be free. You need to fucking chase after this murder mystery. Look at that. Look at her face. Well, the imagery here, Hoshino Ai, Baby, right? Ruby Aqua. And before that, is presumably Himekawa, right? That's, that's, if we're gonna assume, right? If we're just gonna assume that this is Himekawa, this is Himekawa's mom, and this is, quote-unquote, the real dad that fucked up Himekawa's mom, and uh, Hoshino Ai. What is this? Evil sperm. <laughs> I think it is. It, it <laughs> evil sperm, bro. <laughs> and then Ruby and Aqua. Akane has connected the dots? Because Akane knows. Like, she has been following the plot really well, but has she realized something new beyond this? Because she already pretty much knew that Aqua and Ruby is the ch child of Hoshino who was murdered, right? At least I think that's what she knows, but like, is there anything else she's recognizing? Let her cook, let her cook. What does she realize? Beyond what Akane already knows. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 keep cooking. Cook. And this is the real dad, right? This is the real dad, but this is the real dad's eyes. And this, these eyes were existing in that sperm. This is the real eye. <laughs> is he around? Dude, it's, it's actually like... <sighs> I'm actually getting goosebumps. Is he around? Is he, has he been watching us the entire time? I don't fucking know, bro. Like, but I could totally see a situation where Akana gets too close to the truth. From season one, I've been theorizing this. Since season one, I've been saying, if Akana gets a little bit too close, Who's there? I could totally see that happening. 100%. What's, what's, what, what, what loophole? That it was all set up and then the real that is not the real. I remember. I, I think this imagery pretty much is that, right? 
This imagery pretty much is that. It's that these two, they were swallowed up by the semen, right? And, and this is the bad guy semen. So like, this is imagery proving that there is another element, right? Or else this guy's eyes will be the same as this guy's eyes. It's, it's wrong, bro. Yeah. And that means that you're also back in. That means that he has a reason to keep you around. You will be useful again. What are you gonna do? Uh -huh. hmm. Ruby? Yeah. He's moving on, seemingly, but... Uh, don't jinx it, don't jinx it! Oh, he'll never forget. Bad omens? <laughs> I don't know. Bad omens? I, I, I don't know. Is this like, uh oh Is this hinting at something? Is there someone else coming? Ah! Blood hair! Blood hair! Blood hair! <sighs> He's here. That's him. That's fucking him. Unless, unless we're getting baited by the hair color. Unless we're getting baited by the hair color, maybe this is a friend of the dad. Right? Because the dad seems to be a master puppet mind. Like, even the person that stabbed Hoshino Ai wasn't the dad. It was a deluded fan that got used by the dad. So, like, you never know, right? You never fucking know, right? But it, it's seeming like this is the one. Ka ka. And Ruby has no idea that she just passed by her actual dad, right? Assuming that he is the one. And he knows. He 100% knows. So, has he been there from the beginning? I would love to go back to episode 1, season 1, and check if this guy was ever seen anywhere. That aura. <laughs> That fucking aura, bro. I don't, no, the petals are from his flower. That actually makes sense. I'm like, where are the petals coming from? No, no, no. Oh. He's showing respect to his old girlfriend. Crazy. 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 Post credit scene? No post credit scene. Oh my god, this episode was crazy. This episode is literally all I want from Oshinoko. I don't. I mean, it's not true. The acting, the theater, idol stuff is important. It's an integral part of it. But the murder mystery. This episode was full on. Slice of life. Cute dates. Akane Kana just giving us everything that the fans want. And then some, bro. And then the actual dad, right? This seemingly is the final boss. He is the one that set up this double death, right? For Himikawa's mom and dad. Himikawa's real dad is most likely this guy according to the DNA papers. I, I think at least that's what my implication, that's what my interpretation is. And that's crazy. He's been watching over us. I wonder how long, how much he knows about us. But like, does he even, is he even aware that Aqua is like after him? How much does he know? Does he know the existence of Akane? I don't know how much this guy knows, but holy shit. This is it. This is fucking it. And we have still one more episode in Miyazaki, right? I wonder what's gonna happen with the white hair girl. Maybe she's some kind of connection that ties back to this guy. I have no clue. But we're in an interesting state where Akane realizes that like her purpose, her role only exists due to Aqua's vengeance plot, right? He is an Avenger and Akane right now could just let him live his life. But if, he do if she does that, he'll probably go with Kana. But if she figures out that, hey, there's this loophole, right? There's this loophole of, like, who the real dad could be. It was all fucking set up. And if Aqua doesn't realize that, if she does realize that, then it's just like Akane is back in the game. I wonder what kind of decision Akane will make as she ponders in her own head. But this episode fucking shivers down my spine. This whole last scene with this creepy-ass piano soundtrack playing, man. Oh my god. It's him. Ladies and gentlemen. We finally got him. 
that's it for me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.